I'm so nervous. Oh boy, thank you. We'll be in touch, ha uh ha. -huh. Next. Oh boy, looks like it's my turn. Wish me luck, ladies. My name is Matthew Patrick and next, but next. Uh, excuse me, but I. I said next. I'm the mouse. You listen to what I say, Theory Boy, and you listen good. You'll never be a Disney princess based on our qualifications. Ha <laughs> ha. But what are those qualifications? It's Walt's little secret. You don't think our old racist movies are the only thing we keep locked up in the Disney vault, do you? Ha <laughs> ha. Fine. You just wait, mouse. It's time I air your dirty little secrets. Last, I've uncovered the secrets of what it means to be a Disney princess. Behold, Princess Pat, the first theorist princess. According to last week's episode, I have everything I need. I've got my royal theory dress, which is very highly merchandisable to the four-year-olds. I've got myself my sassy animal sidekick, and I've got a can-do attitude. Disneyland sensational parade, here I come. Not so fast, ha ha! I told you once and I'll tell you again, you'll never be a Disney princess! What, what do you mean, Mouse? I, I did everything you said. I call the shots around here, pal, and you'll never make it into my exclusive princess room! Wait, the random room labeled princesses in the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2? Yeah! Eat it! But that's so arbitrary. Why does being in a room in a completely separate movie qualify you as a princess? You'll never know because you'll never make the cut! Watch as all those dreams of being a pretty, pretty princess wither and die! And I suck on those sweet, salty tears! You're... you're insane! Insanely wealthy, you mean? Mouse, you're no mouse at all. I know what you are now. You're just a rat. Just a <laughs> dirty, dirty rat! <laughs> no! Mac Pat, back for more, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! I thought you had had enough after all that princess nonsense. You're right, Mickey. I may have already proven that you're a hypocrite cashing in on women's empowerment, but this time I'm out to go one step further. I'm out to show the world that you're not just a money grubber, but also that you are one murderous mouse. But we produce family-friendly movies, MatPat. Totally brand friendly. Tell that to the victims in your movies. Oh yeah? And how many people have I killed then, Matt Pat? Ten? Twenty? A few hundred? A few thousand? <laughs> how many, Matt Pat? How many victims are there in my movies? Calculate that one if you're so smart. I dare you! What can I do for you, sir? Uh, mouse? I'm looking for a car, something sporty, something sexy. Well then, do I have the perfect vehicle for you. It's a Porsche Spider. Super high end, great track speeds. Heads will be turning when you take this baby out on the road. Oh boy, I'll take it. Fantastic. Though, be warned, it is an expensive car. We're talking close to 100K for this baby. I said, I'll take it. Price is no object, I see. Great, I'll just ring it up right now. You clearly don't understand. I said, I'll take that spider and I'll take it for free! If I need to, I'll buy up every other car dealership in the area just to put you out of business! That spider will be mine for zero dollars! And you know what? You'll be glad about that! I'll show it off alongside all my other cars and you will love it! You'll eat it up! <laughs> you won't be able to get enough as I sell you the privilege to watch me show off all my cars! Uh, are, are we still talking about cars? I'll make millions, billions off that free spider! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So would you like roadside insurance with that? Uh, can we please just call this? It's obvious you're gonna win. You own all the railroads, you own all the utilities, you have hotels on every square but one. Then we keep playing. I told you, I want it all. <laughs> Ugh, fine. You know, you were a lot more fun when I was a kid. Siri, what 
what's one trillion dollars to the tenth power? One trillion raised to the tenth power is one zero 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 zero